Yeah, today I'm going to rant about an SDR that you should never buy. It's on my computer now, but this little blue SDR thingy, do not buy it, ever. I know it's a good SDR, but don't buy it, because I got this thing plugged into my computer, look at that, it's plugged in, I don't know why it's, it's sticking out a little bit, which is kind of weird. But it has antenna and everything connected. And when I go to the devices, nothing appears. I installed all the drivers and nothing appears. Once I click here, it says no device selected, even though I have it connected to my computer. Are you serious, eBay? Hmm. Are you serious? Because this is an SDR, and I'm running SDR Sharp, and it doesn't want to load my SDR. This, this blue junk doesn't want to load on my computer. I don't know why. Right, because... I don't have the drivers installed. I have the drivers installed, but it doesn't want to work with my computer. And it keeps it keeps making my computer go nuts. <laughs> so this SDR needs to go bye-bye. There we go. <laughs> That's what you get for buying an SDR, the blue ones on eBay. I don't want to buy your SDRs. I'm going to buy a Hack RF or the actual real SDRs. Like the Air Spy or something like that. So, that is a waste of $17. <laughs>